Hi, I'm Mike Bellevue, and this is part three of my series on favorite holsters. In part one of the series, we took a look at the holsters that I like to use for cap and ball six guns. And in part two, we looked at holsters for cartridge firing guns of the Old West. And in this installment, we're going to be taking a look at holsters that I like for modern guns. We'll start uh, with the way I most often carry a gun, which is in an inside the waistband holster. And my most often used holsters are made by Don Hume. I use these with both large and small frame autos and with revolvers. This is a clip-on holster, so it's easy on and easy off. But the strong spring keeps it in place during a draw, and it's a very secure holster. I've never had one pull off my belt. In the summer, I use a set of Galco Triton holsters. Uh, they're made of Kydex, and the Kydex is impervious to sweat, which is why I like them in the summer. The Triton also has a sweat guard that keeps the steel of the gun off of your skin, so I can wear it under a t-shirt without needing another shirt between the gun and my skin, and, uh, and that makes it great for the summer. I also like the N3 holster, also from Galco. Now these are leather holsters, but they also feature sweat guards, and if you don't like the clip-on style, these secure uh, with a very rugged belt loop. For my Browning High Power, I've got a Bluestone Safety Products inside the waistband holster. It's rugged, it's comfortable, uh, it also has a sweat guard, which is a great feature, and this is my go-to for any of my high powers. If deeper concealment's needed, I use this Pager Pal holster. I've had this thing for years, uh, probably close to 20 years. And it, it's very simple. It tucks completely inside your pants. The only thing visible is this clip. It used to be outfitted with a little phony pager back before the cell phones when people used pagers. But I pulled that off and, and just put this bare steel clip on. And it's very unobtrusive, and the gun is completely out of sight. One of my favorite outside the waistband holsters is also made by Don Hume. It's called the JIT, or Just In Time Slide. And I really like this because it tucks the gun in very close to the body. It's, it's got this belt loop system where it has a, a belt loop on this fin. Uh, it's just a thin one, and then a thick belt loop right on the, the gun sheath itself. And uh, those two loops working together pull the gun up very tight to you, and it, it keeps it very well concealed. When I'm in the woods, I usually open carry. But if I'm on a popular hiking trail or in a campground or something like that where there are a lot of, a lot of foot traffic and families around, I think open carry is just advertising for trouble. And uh, for situations like that, I like to use this gun, this uh, this holster from Galco, it's called the Side Snap Scabbard. And the beauty of it is it really spreads out the weight of a heavy gun on your belt. So you can carry it comfortably all day, uh, even even hiking up mountains, which which I've done with this quite a bit. So this is, this is kind of a semi-field holster for me. Now, unfortunately, Galco doesn't make a Side Snap Scabbard that fits either my CZ-97B or my EAA 10mm witness. Uh, but luckily, El Paso has a very similar, El Paso Saddlery has a very similar holster, uh, and they do make it in that larger size. And this is the one that I like to carry if I'm in bear country. I know a lot of people don't like shoulder holsters, but I use them in the wintertime when it can be really hard to get a belt-mounted holster uh, to get access to it through coats and sweaters and, you know, what have you. Uh, though you can usually just pull a zipper down a little way or go in through a lapel and get to a shoulder holster pretty quickly. And that's especially true if you're driving in the winter. So I've got two shoulder holsters made by Galco. One's for a large frame automatics, uh, 1911s, and it carries two magazines on the off side. And the other is made for large frame revolvers, and it has two dump pockets that hold six rounds in each pocket. Uh, and these are both excellent shoulder holsters. 
Now my favorite shoulder holster for short barreled 1911s is kind of a Franken holster. Uh, the holster itself and the magazine pouch are made by Uncle Mike's and I had these for a long time and I hated the harness that came with it and I didn't use it much but I really liked the the holster. So I got the brilliant idea of ordering uh, one of Galco's shoulder holster spider rigs, just just the harness. And then I fitted it to the holster and the magazine pouch, and voila, uh, this has been a great shoulder holster since then. In fact, I, I drove halfway across the country wearing this thing earlier this winter, and it was perfectly comfortable. So that brings us to open carry holsters, and I've got a couple that I, I really like. Uh, for revolvers, I really like El Paso Saddlery's number five patent rig. If you ever saw the movie Patent, you would have seen this holster. This is basically a uh, T.O. Myers border rig, uh, like Border Patrolman. And it's very comfortable. It's got some drop to it. It's got a good angle. Uh, and I really like it. So I like to use the same holster for a number of revolvers. For automatics, I like this rig from Kirkpatrick Leather Company called the Deputy. Uh, I think this is excellent. It gives you a very good draw. Uh, very solid, reliable rig, and uh, I got this basically for 1911s, and I got a matching set of magazine carriers, uh, but because I also have a para 14-round uh, 1911, I got a matching set of magazine carriers that are for double-stack magazines, and uh, the same holster, of course, accommodates both guns, and that works out just great. Now, unfortunately, Kirkpatrick did not make a holster that would fit my CZ-97B or my EAA Witness uh, 10 millimeter. And for that, I went back to El Paso Saddlery and I got this holster. And uh, I just use it on the same belt and with the same magazine carrier uh, that I use on the deputy rig for the 1911s. And it works out just great. Well, now we'll talk about competition rigs. Uh, this rig is the Wild Bunch rig, and it's made by Bob Mernicke of Mernicke's uh, Leather Works. And it is an outstanding competition rig for Wild Bunch shooting or for IPSEC or almost any other discipline you would care to name. Uh, it's, it's a cut-down rig for fast access to the gun, easy access to the magazines, but it holds the gun very securely. I mean, you can run around with this thing and you're not going to lose it at all. So this is what I use to compete in Wild Bunch matches. This is another Bob Mernicke holster. And uh, this one's known as the Evil Roy Wild Ride. And it was designed by Gene Percy, who's better known in the cowboy action community, as Evil Roy. And he's a super competitor. And he really put a lot of thought into this holster. And he, he competes in all sorts of shooting disciplines. Uh, this was made specifically for the production class of IDPA or IPSEC. And it's a leather holster, but it's fully metal lined. Uh, it's got an integral sight track that is also metal lined. And as you can see when you flip it over, it has these two wings. And they provide stability on your belt. And it's, it's got a cutout so you can run your belt through a belt loop and the holster channel. Uh, so it's really rock steady. And I've, I've got my uh, flame gripped 38 Super uh, in this. I've been using it with this holster for a while now. And I just think it's an excellent ride. Well, that concludes my three part series on favorite holsters. Uh, these are the holsters that I use the most often. And I, I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I welcome your comments.